Claire Kramer has been a shining light on the screen in films like Bring It On, The Rules of Attraction, The Grave Dancers, and Big Ass Spider, not to mention a little TV show called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She's also an athlete, she could kick the shit out of you in a boxing ring, she's the mother of four, she's hosted more conventions than you even knew existed, and she's the co-founder of Geek Nation, the network that Lynch and I do our podcast, The Movie Crypt, for. She literally does it all, and she never even stops long enough to take a breath. I'm Adam Green, and tonight I managed to convince Claire Kramer to take a break from taking on the world and join me for my scary sleepover. Adam? Oh, Hi! Hello! How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm oh, good. I feel like I actually haven't seen I, you. Well, I see you sometimes for like two seconds. I see you like every once in a while, but I, mean, I don't think I've been over here in so long and everything has changed. It looks so awesome. Thank you. Are you hungry? Do you want anything to eat? Because um, there's lots of good food. So this looks super healthy, but I'm okay right now. Um. <laughs> it, it is healthy. There's pizza. There's, there's pizza. m ms you know, normally, like we'll play a game or something. Okay. So I, 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 uh, I had Casey, our new intern, mm -hmm. order this this awesome game because I was thinking, you know, you're on Buffy, like vampires. So it's this awesome vampire game. Actually, cool. Casey, do you have the game? I think you're, I think you're really gonna love this. I love this. games. I'm super competitive. It's well, okay, good. I'm like it's super a, competitive. Uh, wait a minute. Hungry. This isn't the game. Um, it yes, was the. It is. No, I um, definitely did not ask you to get this one. It was the the vampire. It's okay, Hungry right. Monsters. Um, yep. Yeah, so we're gonna play. We're gonna play Hungry Monsters. I'm fairly confident I can beat you in Hungry Monsters. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Here, you can roll first. Okay. One. Oh, great. <laughs> Three. All right. And so. I'm the fry guy. Yes. That's me. Okay. That's you. Uh, Fantastic. So basically, what happens is you roll the dice, and you move that number of spaces. I don't know. And that you one. You get a donut. You say donut. Um, uh, okay. When you move, because it's donut, so you would go three spaces going donut like that. Right? Okay. Okay, and um, oh, and I get to roll again. So I would go, now there's a uh, cake okay. with a cherry on it. Okay. So I go six spaces, so I go cake with a cherry on it. Oh, spider. So the spider, spider takes one of my food pieces, but I don't have any food pieces yet. So nothing happened. Oh, did I skip the space? <laughs> you went seven. Oh, so I get I get a <laughs> you donut. You get to say donut again. I get a donut. All right. Well, I get to. Oh, you get, I, you to, get to take you get any a donut. Okay, any got piece, it. and you put it in your monster's mouth. And the goal is to fill up your monster's mouth because your monster's wicked hungry. Um, and got um, it. Yeah. So okay, your turn. So it's finally my turn. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> after a, like eighteen rolls by you. Um, six cake with a cherry on it. Cake. <laughs> Okay, now well, I'm gonna go again. This game is awesome. <laughs> but you can see why I thought this game would be perfect because of uh, Buffy and stuff, you know, because you were on, obviously, on Buffy. You know? I don't want to break it to you, but we didn't have a lot of donuts or cherry chocolate cake on No, Buffy. but you remember uh, the episode with the giant spider? There weren't really that many spiders in Buffy. Yeah, there was. There was I, a I definitely snake remember. Episode, that's what. I, yeah, the yeah, the snake okay. one because there was big ass spider. You were a fan of there Buffy, were, of right? Of course, I was a fan of that's Buffy. That's what I thought. I've seen yeah. every episode like twenty times. Okay. Um, I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We, oh, good. Yeah, weren't you a redhead in it though? It was. I was like um, kind of red brunette. Is it blonde? Oh, Casey. Being a blonde is so much more fun. Can you it get is. the die? I um, dropped the die. I love Buffy. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's no. Never... So uh... my favorite episode was the one uh, where you were slaying the where you were. Yeah, definitely the one where you were where you were slaying the vampires. Like when you got the part when they're like, "Oh my God, Claire, you're gonna be Buffy." Wait. Like, were you like wait, but totally you, freaking hold out? On, were one you... second, you know I wasn't Buffy, right? I was on. I was right, on, you were on Buffy. Buffy. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, because. Uh, what, what's her name? There was Dawson, Pacey. No, that's the wrong show. <laughs> um, Good Lord. How about if I let you have some peanut M&Ms? I do like that. Just take like one though. I love these. I told you I love these. That's like five. I'm just gonna put my M&Ms here as if I've rolled them and they count in this okay. game. Cause I really don't think there's any rules to this game. <laughs> there's rules, Casey. You just I just don't want her to eat all this. Thank you. Okay. Oh, 
Can I have a, can I have a few more? Wait a minute. I think they're actually all gone. lives for Scary Sleepover. It's probably her favorite thing to do. Uh, well, I can tell she's like super into it. She's running away. I don't know how she's... I'm gonna sleep. I've had like seven cups of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like two weeks early. <laughs> Damn it! Bye, D. So one of the things that we love to do on the show right. is uh, I'll usually pick two movies that I really love that the guest was in or made. Okay. And then you pick which one of the two we're gonna watch. Okay. And usually I end up learning something about it, which is okay, cool. pretty awesome. So awesome. I chose these. Oh my it, god. <laughs> these. Um, so if you had to pick one of the two, because I mean, you know, Grave Dancers premiered uh, at Tribeca when Hatchet did. And right. Bring It On is amazing. So if you had to pick one of the two, I mean, you would pick. I kind of feel like you may get a little more out of Grave Dancers oh, re watching that one. I mean, it's such a great, it, it was, first of all, we shot in this like totally creepy, abandoned place that truly was haunted. I have like so many scary stories about that. And then also like, you know, I've worked with Mike Mendez several times, but this is a great movie. It shows Mike's, you know, ability to bring out, you know, the humorous quirky side of things, but also it is truly, you know, I feel like it's one of his, his scariest pieces. So I love it. I think it's great. Um, Let's watch it. But Bring It On has Rachel Lee Cook in it. You know, I wouldn't have pictured you as a closet Bring It On lover, a fan. <laughs> you know, it just, uh, I, don't, I don't admit it to too many people. Uh, but if you're going to admit it, why not uh, put it on a web series that thousands of people that watch? Watches. No, honestly, it's really funny. Um, this was... First of all, my first basically like acting job ever. Had um, you been a cheerleader before though? No. I, I, wow. Well, that's not exactly true. I was a cheerleader in junior high and it really wasn't for me, you know? And this, we didn't cheer anything like this, but <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Um, but I auditioned and we had to cheer for the audition and then we had a dance audition and then we basically went down to San Diego and we had a month long training camp where we learned all these routines. There's my cook at Courtney. Uh, <laughs> and this had to be hard though, because it's not just like an average part where you learn the lines and become a People got detective. fired like left and right. But this this movie, it was honestly one of the best experiences. It looks um, like it was. I mean, how could it not be super fun? It was so fun, and I'm still really good friends with several people in the film. So, you know, it was like, between this and Buffy, it was kind of the basis for all my friendships in L.A. in a yeah. weird sort of way. It is great, yeah. though, <laughs> when you have one of those sets, though, where you make those lifelong friendships. Yeah. And because and you, you kind of know it right away. It's like, oh, this isn't going to just be for the course of making this movie like this is gonna continue on yeah yeah i mean because when you're when especially when you're on location you're at such a like small community such a tight-knit community you know that it's it's just a huge bonding experience in a million years i never would have expected like when i saw the trailer or the poster that i would even want to see it right and i don't remember why i did or how it happened but <laughs> A good movie is a good movie. I don't care what what kind of movie it is. Yeah. I know right now I'm losing my horror cred with a ton of people, but um, the movie's great, and you're great in it, and it's it, it's it's just a good movie. I think the other interesting thing is we were all so young. A lot of us, this was our first like big project, you know. Um, some of us, it was our first project, and as an actor, I think that you know, as you get older, you get you can get a little more self-conscious or you can get a little more judgmental about your performances. But I think in this situation, we were all so fearless. None of us really knew what it meant, what we were doing, like what what the deal was, you know? And so we just like went for it in everything. And to make this kind of a campy, fun movie successful, you have to be willing to do that. You know, I, nowadays, I think... it would be much harder for me to quote unquote act in a movie like this because I would be more judgmental of myself, I think. Sometimes um, when I have really 
emotional scenes or like scenes that take you to a really dark place. I don't really have to do this as much now that I am older and I have more tools and I'm more experienced. But when I was younger and I was getting a lot of these like roles where I'd be like kidnapped or tortured or, you know, whatever, I would stay up really, really, really late before I had to film a really emotional scene the next day so that that was more accessible. You know, when you're tired, those defenses are broken down, yeah. you know? Now I'm like, I need my beauty rest and I'll just make myself, you know, <laughs> whatever, feel whatever. But then when I didn't have as many skills or tools, that was one of the tactics that I implemented. So you've done horror movies. Yes. Clearly. And what, what are you afraid of in real life? And that's the big question on the show, obviously, but I love finding out, you know, it's one thing when it's fake and you're just, you know, doing it for art's sake, but like in real life, what are you scared of? Well, okay, hmm. it's kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I'll start by saying this. The two things that have always freaked me out are knives and birds. So birds? it's like, yeah, I have that Hitchcock like fear thing going on. But aside from that, um, those are like the traditional, you know, physical fears, I guess you could say. I'm, I'm not really like worried about, I used to be worried about like losing someone close to me, you know what I mean? And I'm not really so worried about that anymore. I'm not worried about dying myself. I mean, I'm, you mentioned being healthy earlier. I'm healthy, but I'm not like uber healthy. I'm just like kind of like a normal person. But I think, you know, when I really boil down my own psyche, the thing that I can say that I'm afraid of is, you know, at the end of the day, when this life is over, you know, what if I, what if I look back in my last moments or whatever, and I'm like, you got it wrong. You got it wrong, Claire. You know, you didn't, you didn't do what either you were meant to do or you didn't execute things in the right way, you know? And to me, that is just a horrible thought. I live my life 100%. I'm not a half in, half out, one foot in, one foot out. Everything I do is like super big, super committed, you know, crazy. There's no safety net on anything. And, you know, that's just, I love, I love life that way. So I don't have those traditional fears, but I think that that's, you know, that like, what if I fuck it all up <laughs> and I don't find out till it's too late. I mean, what we do as careers, it always feels like, you know, what you just said, no safety net, but I mm -hmm. mean, not just not a safety net, but like a pit of knives, like that you're <laughs> gonna just, it either works out or it massively doesn't in, mm -hmm. in the end. I, like, don't you feel like you'd be more inclined to have that regret if you just did the safe thing? If you just did what they told you to do or what you're supposed to do? Like, I don't think it really, I mean, it's bigger than just like a career or, you know, it's, it's about, you know, family and choices and, you know, the over, my overall like contribution to society into the world and you know like just I I don't want to look back and be like I didn't I didn't catch that I didn't get it right I didn't I didn't give what I was here to offer I don't know it's a, it's a very like cerebral thought but you know and I laugh because you know it's it's easier to laugh than to really look at the you know the depths of that but you know what I mean in the end, we just don't know. We don't know really anything. And so art is our expression of where we are in the moment, I often feel, you know? And, and I don't know. It's just, it's just that what if. The, the things you're, you're trying to do that are gonna help other people in a bigger picture, like Geek Nation, like the fact that you're giving, you're making people's lives better in a way. Um, the fact that you're a parent, the fact that you're, I mean, I. I don't know, what do I know? But I think you're doing a pretty good job. And I don't think that you need to be so scared of that. Birds, on the other hand. Birds, <laughs> birds are scary, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got to hang out because we never get to hang out, not like this. It's always like passing really quick and some work related. I know, capacity. I'm like, hi, give me a hug, see you later. No, yeah, I'm so later. glad I had the best time. I even had fun playing the monster game. Yeah. I'm, it was I'm, really fun. I'm sorry about that game. That's really um, Casey's fault. I, I told her to get the vampire one and 
she oh, just I mean, Adam, just like, that is the game you told me to get. No, it wasn't. I told her to <laughs> get a different game. She just, a little miscommunication. She's new. I promised Claire I was. No, it wasn't. I believe you. Why are you still here? <laughs> I thought you... I was invited too. I know, but you were supposed to go home like a while ago. Remember? I just love you so much. Yes, you can, you can go. <laughs> Bye. All right, well, I've had an awesome time, but I'm equally as tired. Yeah. So. Good night, Adam. Good night, Buffy.